Hey, this is Robert Giorgioni for robertgiorgioni.com. So I'm here at the Wendori tasting with one of the people that have really inspired me over the years, especially with regards to wine blogging. This is Jamie Good of Wine Anorak. Jamie, how are you? Very good, yeah. Very so, good. what wine are we tasting? This is, a, this is one of the 14 um, different Wenderies that we've been um, tasting here this afternoon, which is just incredible because this wine is really hard to get hold of. Um, it sells the mailing list only, and if you get on the mailing list, if you're really lucky, you'll be offered six bottles a year. And so it's very, very hard to track this down. But um, fortunately, here we've got 14 different ones, and I've just picked one of them, which is the Shiro's Malbec, and it's a 2000 vintage. So for all, 10 years old, for Wendery wine, that's, that's actually not that old. This is just starting to enter in its drinking window. Because these wines are really quite um, backward and tannic and with high acidity, um, and they're thrilling, but they do need a long time to begin to open out and show their best. You've been, is, you've been to the vineyard, haven't you? Yeah, I went to the vineyard a, a few years ago, um, and it's just a crazy place. It's just amazing. The, the old vines, um, it, was, it was dormant at the time you know, when it leaves in the vines. We see some wizened old trunks of vines that were just um, looked incredible. They're really, really old vines, um, low yields, um, very traditional wine making. And the, the key, I think, is picking the grapes quite early on before they're too ripe. And so they've got high acidity still, and they're quite tannic. Um, but they make wonderful wines. And this, this is a Shiraz Melbourne from 2000. It's just a lovely, complex um, nose. It's very fresh. I'm getting sort of a hint of mint and some iodine. The iodine is just something you discover, you kind of encounter quite a lot with the Wendery wines. It's sort of a very mineralic, iodine character. And really lovely, fresh, pure fruit. High tannins, high acid, nice complexity, taut and savoury. It's a really interesting wine. I mean, I, I love these wines. They're not sort of wines that you'd want to serve to anybody without warning them, because they're quite difficult and angular, especially when they're young. But they're just so fresh and they age beautifully. Really complex, lovely wines. Almost European in style. Yeah. They're not very Australian at all. But they're, they, they've achieved quite a cult status, haven't they? Mm. They're, um, they're just. They're unique. I mean, partly, partly it's the house style, but also I must, it must be the, the particular patch of land they come from in the Clare Valley. You know, these, these wonderful old vines. They seem to produce something that's got real intensity and minerality and freshness and longevity. And so you can sell these wines with confidence, really. I think that they just don't fall apart in the bottom. Um, they seem to just last and last. Thanks for your comments, Jamie. You're welcome.